Scorpio, welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your monthly reading for the month of August of 2021. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. If you are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Eric. It is very, very nice to meet you. And if you are returning, what's up squad? So as always, general reading. Yes, please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. We could be talking to a cross watcher here, so keep that in mind. The roles can be reversed. Also, this is a timeless reading. Just because it's coming through for the month of August does not mean that it absolutely has to resonate for you in the month of August of 2021. Whenever you were guided to watch this reading and it resonates, then that's the message for you in that moment. I am available for personal readings. If you'd like to get one, check the description box below. All the information is down there. Also, if you would like to support the channel, check us out on Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. I do put out extra content there um, throughout the month. Uh, so if you would like to get some extra content or if you just want to support the channel, which I would be greatly appreciative of, check us out on Patreon. Yeah, join us there. Um, please make sure to like, share, uh, and comment if you guys are enjoying this message. Um, let me know down in the comments section how this is resonating for you. And if you are new to the channel and you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing. Yeah. All right, guys. Let's get into this for you, Scorpio. I do have your pre-shuffle here. So it seems that you are being faced with making a decision. And I don't know if you've actually enacted this decision, but I also feel like you know, either you know what it is that you need to choose, you know how it is you need to proceed, or you have the clarity of mind to understand the choice that needs to be made here and how to make that choice. I'm even hearing when to make that choice, all right? You have the two of wands here. You have the King of Swords, you have Justice, and then you also have the Sun, okay? That's just the first set of cards here for you. So between Justice and the King of Swords here, I definitely feel like somebody is looking for things to be fair and balanced or is looking for the truth of the situation, regardless of the circumstances, regardless who it involves, and regardless of what as to what that truth actually translates into. Somebody here is looking for the truth. Somebody here is looking for a balanced resolution, Okay. Now, at the eight of, at the bottom of the deck, uh, Scorpio, you do have the Eight of Pentacles. Um, overall, this is speaking to an energy of thoroughness. Okay, so this may have be this may be something that you've been taking a lot of time to understand, to get under your belt, or to 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 to, to gather all the information uh, from credible sources, or for at least from all sources that are necessary in order for you to make the best. Um, the most just and the most informed decision possible for yourself in terms of this situation, okay? This is a good thing. Regardless as to whatever the outcome seems to be or whatever is looming, you know, because of this decision or this choice, this is still a good thing. And that, and the best aspect of it is the desire for someone to see and understand what the truth and what this really means and what the real evidence has to say in terms of this situation. Now, the last thing that's come through for you here, Scorpio, in terms of your pre-shuffle energy is a little bit of advice. Your victory is going to come from ultimately you following your heart. Six of Wands and the Knight of Cups. Okay, that's a little bit of advice from the universe right now. They are saying to you, follow your heart. Regardless as to what that actually means, okay, whatever your heart is guiding you towards, whatever your heart is leading you to understand, come to an understanding of, come to terms with, and this is even wherever your heart is guiding you to look for information, for an understanding, for greater clarity, follow your heart's guidance here because it's going to lead you to victory, okay? Excellent, Scorpio. I am going to leave it there. I'm going to reshuffle here. Just give this a little bit of a cleansing reset. And then we're going to give this five shuffles and we'll get into the rest of your reading. Yes, yes, excellent. King of Wands just popped out for you here. Don't be afraid to, mm, okay. What I heard was don't be afraid to choose for yourself. Don't be afraid to choose yourself. Don't be afraid to fight for yourself, okay? Excellent. Let's give this five shuffles for you, Scorpio. One. For my Scorpios, Sun, Moon, Rising, potentially even Venus. Yeah, if you're looking for love messages, check out your Venus sign. This is two. I would also recommend you check your Sun, Moon, and Rising sign for a complete picture as to the messages for you during this time period. This is three for you, Scorpio. 
this is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's try that again. Four. And this is five. Whoop. Okay, this is five. All righty, kids. Let's get into this. I'm going to cut the deck. Boop. All right. Overall energy for you, Scorpio. What do you have here? You've got the two of pentacles. This time period in your life right now, Scorpio, is all about finding physical balance. Whatever it is you're facing in your life right now, Scorpio, we, you, you are in the process of leveling things out in your life. Okay, this is not just about spiritual balance. This is not just about emotional or mental balance. This is about literally balancing out uh, physical, real life circumstances in your life. Okay, Two of Pentacles. Underneath the Two of Pentacles, you have the, th ooh, the Three of Pentacles. Underneath the Three of Pentacles, you're right back to the Six of Wands. And then underneath the Six of Wands... <laughs> Damn, Pi Scorpio, not Pisces. I just did spicy Pisces. Scorpio. Underneath the Six of Wands, you have the Ace of Swords. And then look at that. Underneath the Ace of Swords is that King of Swords again. Okay? So, what's really going to bring this balance into your life, Scorpio, is by you working together as a team player, but also you working on a sense of mastering yourself. Three of Pentacles. This really is about mastering yourself and your life, okay? You find victory by working on yourself. This is personal victory. And this could even uh, translate into like um, uh, 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 recognition by the people around you. But that's because you are changing and it's becoming obvious or it will be becoming obvious, okay? Ace of Swords to the King of Swords. Scorpio, you really need to be as truthful and honest as possible. And this is not just with everyone else around you or the circumstance you find yourself in. This is, this is translating the most, the strongest into you being truthful and honest with yourself about the situation, about the circumstances, about what it is you're facing here. The more honest and truthful you are with yourself and what that actually means for you in your life in terms of needing to bring balance into your life, the more victorious you will be. This is literally all about working on your sense of self-mastery here, Scorpio, okay? And that is translating into you needing to be an authority, king of swords, and use the truth to bring this actual balance into your life. Two of pentacles, okay? The more honest you are with yourself, the more successful you will be. Let's move forward here. We're going to get into the first half and the second half of your reading. First half of your reading is going to look at the past energies up until the current moment in time. The second half of your reading is going to look at the current moment in time off until the, into the future. Yes? Excellent. First set of surrounding energies for you, Scorpio, in the first half of your reading. Four of Cups. So, in the energies of being honest with yourself, Scorpio... What is it that you no longer want to be associated with? What is it that you no longer want to tango with? What is it that you no longer want to provide your energies to or be involved with or have to deal with any longer? This Four of Cups energy isn't always bad, depending on your perspective. Yes, the Four of Cups can represent apathy, boredom, and missing of an opportunity to, to list a few things. But this Four of Cups can also be a good thing because it can represent the energies of, yeah, you being bored with something or you feeling apathetic and you not wanting to be involved. And that right there is a sign that something needs to change. So from the past up until now, Scorpio, what is it that you haven't wanted to be involved with? That's the, that's the simplest way I can put this for you. What is it that you haven't wanted to be involved with and why? Focus on that. I'm hearing that's like your golden ticket right there. And I want to say, honestly, Scorpio, you don't need to have an excuse, to be quite honest. You really don't need to explain yourself to anybody. I mean, like, 
okay, take that on a case by case basis. And I'm not asking anybody to be a narcissist here, but like at the same time, you, re I mean, like you really don't have to explain yourself. I don't know where that came from, but like, okay. The Four of Cups is coupled with the Eight of Wands. So all of this, Scorpio, you asking yourself about what it is you no longer want to be a part of, that is your first step towards clearing the blockages. Okay. That's why we're saying, ask yourself that question and then focus on the answer. Be real with yourself, Scorpio. Again, the more... You are truthful and honest with yourself about what it is that's going on in your life and how it is you feel about it, the more victory you will gain, will acquire, will achieve. Yes? Second set of surrounding energies for you, Scorpio, in the first half of your reading. Woo! The tower. Now, this does represent your energy, Scorpio, in some cases. I am, fe well, yes, it represents your energy because the tower represents Mars energy, okay? And obviously, well, maybe not obviously, whether if it's not obvious to you if you're not an astrologer or you haven't been looking into it or reading into it, but Scorpio is ruled by Mars, okay? But I'm definitely feeling like this is your energy. Whether you are bringing certain things to a close and that's creating somewhat of a tower moment or this tower moment, mm, the tower moment I'm feeling for most of you, the strongest thing I'm feeling is the realization, is that, that lightning strike, that aha moment, that, oh my God, that's what this is. Holy shit, that's why this has happened or that's why, this is why I feel this way. The, the tower moment feels like the realization, the moment of realization for you, Scorpio, okay? Take that, use that wisely, use it to your advantage. The tower is coupled with the page of cups. Ha, ooh, Scorpio, what is it that you truly feel about something? Someone, a circumstance, a relationship. What is truly within your heart about the situation? Mind-blowing is what it's going to end up being. The realization of it, Scorpio, is probably going to be mind-blowing. For some of you, you've been, you, you've, been, you've been escaping this for the longest time. You haven't been listening to your heart. You haven't been listening to your inner child. You haven't been listening to your sense of innocence. Well, now it's time to start over and realize those things again. Realize those aspects of yourself. This tower moment and the page of cups is representing an emotional reset for you. Coming back to the truth of who you are. Coming back to your true divine nature. Coming back to the sense of the inner child within. Obviously, it's your inner child. Duh, that was redundant, but you get what I'm saying. Okay. Your challenge, Scorpio, in the first half of your reading is the Ten of Wands, releasing the burdens, the strife. But to be honest with you, Scorpio, what I'm feeling here is that the most challenging aspect of this Ten of Wands energy, of this release energy, is the realization of what it actually is. The realization of the burdens that you've been carrying and where, and that comes through with you being as blatantly and bluntly honest with yourself as you absolutely can be. Okay? Ten of Wands is coupled with, yes, the world. So your challenge in the first half of your reading, Scorpio, is letting go or ending the cycle of burden that no longer serves you, okay? I did just hear that. So for some of you, it no longer serves you and yet you still continue to carry it probably because it's a comfort zone. It's what you're used to. Better the devil I know, this, that, and the third. Or it's just, it's become a habit. But again, you're, go you're about to go through an energetic reset and that's going to allow you to drop these burdens for once and for all, for good, okay? Closing message or potential outcome for you, Scorpio, in the first half of your reading. The hanged man. A change in perspective is everything for you right now, Scorpio. So this is what you're heading towards. In terms of the past energy up until now, the current energy moving off into the future, but in terms of the past energy to the current energy, you are going to be working on getting a change in perspective that is going to free your mind in so many ways that I couldn't even begin to, to describe it to you right now. 
okay? It's one of those situations where you're just going to have to experience it, okay? Experience it for yourself and come to your own conclusions. Make your own damn conclusions, Scorpio. Yes? Excellent. The hanged man is coupled with the three of wands. This is absolutely going to change your mindset and clear up some blockages that have kept you from having some sort of forward facing or forward moving vision. This change in perspective is going to change your outlook of everything, Scorpio, and it's most likely going to change the way you move in the future, what it is you even move forward towards in the future. But this is why it is so important for you to be as bluntly and completely honest with yourself as you possibly could ever be, more than you have ever allowed yourself to be in the past. Excellent, Scorpio. All right, moving forward here. Let's get into the second half of your reading, yes? So, the second half of your reading is going to be looking at that current moment for yourself and where you are currently and off into the future, yes? Excellent. First set of surrounding energies for you, Scorpio, in the second half of your reading, you have the King of Cups, but this also represents your energy yet again. But the King of Cups here, regardless of the fact that it officially technically can represent Scorpio energy, the King of Cups here for you, Scorpio, is you having gone through this transitional period or period or this transformational period that's bringing you a change in perspective, uh, a brand new mindset, a different way of seeing things. And now you settling into the emotional truth and emotional maturity and emotional responsibility of doing what you know is right, even though it is not necessarily easy. But what I feel like for you, Scorpio, is, yeah, there may be some physical or circumstantial uh, situations in which it's not necessarily all that easy to move forward with, but it just feels so emotionally correct for you that that's really not going to be that much of a, tr of a problem, okay? The King of Cups is coupled with the moon. Wow, Scorpio. Excuse me. This just got incredibly deep. I mean, like, we were pretty deep anyway, but this just got deep on a whole other level. Because this is you standing up emotionally to the illusions seeing through the illusions and facing the illusions and kind of causing others to face it too. Like in some cases, Scorpio, I feel like you're bringing people to task in terms of some of the illusions that have been perpetuated in your life, in these circumstances, whatnot, whatever. Like this is you literally having gone through, well, maybe having gone through a certain dark night of the soul type element or just you facing certain things that are not as they seem on the surface and you like shedding light on them or you doing what you know is right in relation to them. This is you facing the illusions and turning it around. Wow. I, ho I, I don't even know if that described it sufficiently, but that's the kind of the best that I can do right now. That's really kind of all I'm getting. That's what it's feeling like. So that's how it's translating. Okay, second set of surrounding energies for you, Scorpio, in the second half of your reading. The Queen of Pentacles. Straight up knowing your worth. I don't care if you're a man or a woman, you identify with masculine or feminine energy. This is you showing up, showing out, and standing in your worth. Not willing to give to situations any longer that don't honor that worth within you. That could very well be the illusions that are being debunked that are being seen through, that are being worked through, that something is being done about. Ooh, honey. Queen of Pentacles is coupled with the... Damn! You can't get any more literal than this, the Six of Pentacles. Reciprocity is key. Holy moly. Your challenge, Scorpio, in the second half of your reading. The magician, standing in your power and manifesting exactly what it is that you want. But Scorpio, this feels like you are going to be having opposition from certain people around you or maybe some, certain elements closest to you. That's what I'm hearing. And you are just going to have to stand in your manifestational power and say, no, 
this is what I'm doing here. This is what I'm meant to become. This is what I'm meant to be doing at this moment. This is what I'm manifesting. You're not going to stop me. The magician is coupled with, damn, the emperor. You're not going to stop me. I am in control here. This is my ship. This is my life. I am taking the reins and I am manifesting what is right for me, what is on point for me, what is right for my soul, what my heart, my higher self, the universe is guiding me towards. I am doing that. No if, ands, or buts about it. Your challenge, Scorpio, is going to be standing in that power. This is more Martian energy also with the emperor here, okay? Because the emperor represents Aries, and Aries is also ruled by Mars. Forcefulness, drive, independence, knowing who it is that you are, knowing what it is that you want, and not allowing anyone to stop you. Remember, that king of wands also showed itself in your pre-shuffle right quick, right? Do not be afraid to go after what it is that you want. Do not be afraid to stand in your power, to stand in your truth, to own that power. This is not just the type of power that comes through from ego, Scorpio. This is coming from your higher self. This is like true you, spiritual, universal energy coming down and saying enough is enough. We're cutting ties here and we're creating what we're manifesting what is right for me, for us, for the universe, for the family, for the future, whatever. However, that resonates for you. Closing message or potential outcome for you, Scorpio, in the second half of your reading, you do have the lovers. Romantic relationships could be coming into shape for you. Uh, some of you could be putting this action into place or being truthful with yourself in this way. And ultimately, this leads you to some sort of divine partnership or some sort of ultimate patching or marry, marrying or... Um, um, what is the word that was I was trying to... Merging or ultimate partnership, whatever. But also the lovers here represents a choice of what serves your highest good and what doesn't. And ultimately what I feel like this means for you, Scorpio, is that you will be choosing, you are in the process of, you are going to be choosing ultimately what serves your highest good here. The lovers is coupled with, damn, you went from the lovers to the two of wands. You are going to be making a choice. And that choice serves your highest potential, your highest good, your highest self, what it is that will ultimately serve your best spiritual interests as a spiritually incarnated being having a physical experience. I love this for you. I love this for you, Scorpio. I want to close out this reading for you here. Um, and I'm actually being guided for you, Scorpio, to use the Crystal Mandala deck. Yes? Oh, golly, jokey. Here we go. Five shuffles for you, Scorpio. One. Two. Three. Four. For my Scorpio's closing or for guidance for this reading for, for you, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and potentially Venus, this is five. All right, Scorpio, let's see what we've got. What closing message do we have for my Scorpios? You've got card number 18, Angel Uziel and Smoky Quartz. Heavenly mercy. Now this did come out in reverse and I feel like that's because the whole deck was is reversed. Yes, the whole deck. I was holding the deck reversed. However, I feel like there is a level of needing to have allow yourself to accept some sort of grace or mercy, Scorpio. But maybe for whatever it is you've done in the past. Oh, I don't know. But like you need to allow your it's like you need to let yourself off the hook. And that's kind of why this kind of came out in reverse. Again, even though the whole deck was reversed. I, that came to mind, so I wanted to say that, okay? But let's read this for you here. Card number 18. Angel Uziel and Smoky Quartz, Heavenly Mercy. We bring you the gift of Heavenly Mercy. As you grow spiritually, your energy field becomes more substantial. Your thoughts and actions carry more karmic weight in the world. As your power increases, your ability to do good increases too. Your positive words can have a potent effect on others. 
So too can the very human moments where you may be having an, quote, off day and unintentionally respond to another in a way that is not unconditionally loving. We do not want you to be afraid of becoming powerful. We know that most often you are going to make a positive contribution with your power. We also know that sometimes you will wish you could, quote, undo a choice you have made and its effect. To help you, we offer our karmic protection where the destructive impact of your actions is softened and the positive effect of your actions is enhanced. As you grow in power and impact, our gift of heavenly mercy will surround you, aligning your actions with divine will and blessing you and all affected by you with divine compassion. Let yourself off the hook, Scorpio. Okay. I don't know why, but I also wanted to say Pisces there. Maybe you're dealing with a Pisces. Maybe you have Pisces in a placement somehow. I don't know. But anyway... There you have it, Scorpio. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Again, if you would like a personal reading, I am available for that. All the information is in the description box below. Uh, please make sure to like this video if you have, if it has resonated for you, if you like it. Make sure to smash that like button. Send me a comment down in the comments below letting me know how this resonated for you or letting me know whatever it is this brought up for you. Also, if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I would really appreciate that. Share this with your friends. And also, if you would like to support the channel, check us out on Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. But with that said, Scorpio, I love you guys so very much. And I am wishing you the best of the month. I hope you have a fantastic month. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Excellent. Take care. Bye. <laughs>